people need to think more broadly on how they're deploying, uh, you know, uh, the technology. You know, it's I, I'm not saying everything's foolproof. Security is kind of a, a, a is I don't want to say moving target, but a multi-layered um, defense mechanism. So if you're if you're deploying stuff, you know, don't rely on out of the box encryption. Don't use you know one key for every the, the billion ESLs you deploy. So that, that's you know if someone does manage the hack, then they have access to everything. So we do a lot of things of um, creating this multi-layer security. Think of it as, you know, at your house, your screen door can protect you from bugs, but maybe not people. Mm -hmm. you now you close your door, now you're protected from people, and then you have a deadbolt, maybe you have an alarm. So it's, think of security as multi-layer. Don't security as, hey, I have encryption, I'm good, right? Because that's, that that doesn't really mean anything. It's a multi-layer security. So what we try to do, we're in a unique position because we constantly think security. Our mobile phones are probably our most protected asset and probably the most vulnerable. So we invest heavily. We've invested heavily in security for a long time, but we have this unique ability to not just look at the security piece, but the, the communications piece that goes along with it as, as a company offering all these technologies. So, you know, Enabling end-to-end -end security is very important, but it can't be difficult. It can't be impossible because if you make implementing security difficult, no one's going to do 